Good afternoon guys, I um, thought I'd put together a bit of a video about my Control 4 setup. Uh, I first jumped on board I think in about 2017, um, just after a bit of automation because I've got the home theatre, uh, uh, surround sound and all that sort of jazz. Now, you know, what appealed to me about Control 4 was just being able to add everything to it, lighting, um, sound, cameras, security, really you can add pretty much anything really to the Control 4 system. So I started off fairly small, it is quite an expensive endeavour. Um, so basically I started off with a couple of uh, wall, wall uh, pucks, um, the remote control for the um, yeah, watching TV and all that sort of jazz um, and added my lights so overhead lighting they're all mostly all uh, LED down lights so I added all those to the system um, which yeah I love home automation and I'm really into gadgets so that's why I really got into it in the first place just the ease of being able to um, hit one button and uh, yeah, everything turns on to the correct inputs and away you go. So uh, basically the that's how I started off. Um, I had an upgrade earlier this year, 2019, uh, where I added a couple more wall switches. So you just change the standard wall switch over to one of the control force wall switches, which I'll show you a little bit later. Um, so basically the next upgrade I did I I got I needed to update the controller which controls the actual system itself and that's the EA3 home controller um, I got the 10 inch T3 uh, in wall display um, I added the uh, DS2 door station with the keypad at the front door which has your uh, video um, and that was it for that part so basically that just allowed me to um, have the door station which is your camera so anyone comes to the door they press the bell and you can see them from the, uh, the screen inside and obviously it uh, calls your mobile as well so you can answer on the mobile and say hello and talk back and forth to them um, and obviously with that uh, the door station um, the Yale front door lock uh, with the keypad so that that just made things a lot easier um, well in my opinion anyway being a tech head uh, my wife was a bit um, how are you going with it obviously to start with because they were saying no we don't need keys anymore and stuff like that uh, she's really warm to the idea now because it just makes it so easy you've got a code you can give out uh, codes to family so they've got their own codes um, now that incorporates obviously into the door station and control 4 um, so I got all that up and running um, which was good um, that was working quite well um, and then I thought well I might as well update the alarm so I've had an old alarm here for well the old time we've been here uh, so I decided well let's integrate it all so that was the next step so now uh, we've got the door station um, when you come home you can just pop in your code it'll turn the alarm off and open the door and away you go so obviously with that you can set up whatever automation you like so uh, you can set it up to turn on lights or, or whatever whenever you put that code in so I've got a garage so I come in and out of the garage um, I just use my overhead button to come in and out but uh, when we're leaving if I go through the garage on the um, the wall switch I've got a button which is a house off button so I'll press that button and uh, turns off all the lights and anything which is on turns it all off 
or anything connected to control four and then uh, sets the alarm uh, so we just drive off so you've got an app obviously you can jump in uh, check out uh, your cameras I've got outdoor cameras uh, just on the outside of the house so that's all inside the control four app um, I've got uh, readers for both doors um, and full control of those automated doors uh, from the app and obviously standard um, buttons which you use uh, in your car so um, look it's been it's been a bit of a journey um, and you know I, I think it's great I mean um, you know I'll have someone come over and uh, I had a plumber come over recently and um, basically all I said is just let me know when you get there and I'll let you in so basically he rang me said I'm here I just press a button it um, turned the alarm off and opened the garage door for him so and in he went um, so I think that part of it is is just so cool um, with the door station at the front obviously anyone coming in um, it rings the in-wall display I've got and also the mobile phones connected so you can answer that and um, you can actually unlock the door from there if if, um, if the door is locked and so they can let themselves in or obviously if you want to go and greet them um, so let's uh, Let's go and have a look at some of these bits and pieces I've got uh, throughout the house. So here we are at the front door. So this is the uh, door station with keypad. Um, so basically you come in, pop your code in, and you come in and open the door lock. In here I've got the uh, wall switch. Now on that, as you can see, I've got the porch light, hallway out, hallway in. Uh, so that, uh, of, if you have a look at my lights, I've got some um, out, outside uh, down lights and also a couple of main lights up in the ceiling. Um, now the door, you can obviously do it manually, very easy. And away we go. Now these keypads, um, at, at night I think they look awesome because they light up and you've got the engraving so all of that is engraved um, and just makes things so nice and easy um, in the garage that's the uh, that's the garage door standard um, openers and then that's a control four switch now these uh, wall plates come in a variety of colors um, and that engraving you can get done uh, to whatever suits you need that's a house off button which I was talking about before so that uh, turns off anything connected to control 4 and uh, also arms the alarm uh, and then away we go inside here these are the uh, curtains so what I sort of really love is being able to wake up on a Saturday morning and just ask Google to open the curtains. Uh, so it works quite well. Hey Google, close the curtains. Takes a couple of okay, seconds. Closing the curtains. But there we go. And then I can go, hey Google, open the curtains. Okay, opening the curtains. There we go. So with uh, OS 3, the upgrade, uh, they had a OS 3 major upgrade this year. Now basically they had uh, integration for uh, Alexa um, earlier. And I did get a... Uh, show five because I wanted to be able to open the curtains just by voice um, Alexa isn't I don't think it's that great at understanding us Aussies for some reason um, and with the curtains it was silly things like uh, Alexa activate curtains and deactivate curtains it was just 
silly stuff like that. OS3 uh, brought on Google integration, which I've already had, um, and that's been working great. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit slow, but yeah, it's fantastic. Now, with uh, with the Control 4 system, I've got these curtains set up. Uh, I've got an automatic schedule. So, um, Monday to Friday during the working week, it opens at uh, 7 a.m. So basically the curtains open at 7 a.m. Uh, automatically and then they close at uh, dusk automatically. So really with the curtains, uh, yeah, some of my friends think it's uh, stupid but uh, I just love being having that control. Alrighty, so here's the uh, wall display. This is basically just off the kitchen here. Um, so that's your main screen there. Uh, I hope you can sort of see that properly. Um, now, basically that's, I've got Sonos speakers, um, which you can just press play and away you go. Um, go back home. And there's your side menu. So in that menu, obviously you've got listen, so that's uh, music, uh, lighting, so that's got, uh, that's scenes. So that's your automation, really. So if you click over the lights, uh, that's the lights just for this room. Otherwise you can go to all lights and that'll bring up all the connected lights throughout the house. Um, so generally, if you're just at a room level, it's fairly easy in that spot there. Um, now, from that top menu you can change uh, where you want to be so this kitchen dining is all one space but uh, the dining just um, has, has its own lights so that's mainly so you can name them correctly and all that sort of jazz um, now in here I've got security so that's your alarm so you can go in there it's currently disarmed. If I want to arm it, I'll just press that button and away I go. Cameras. So it shows up all the cameras I've got outside the house. Now if we go back here, it's the doors. So that's the front door. So that opens and closes the front door. Roller doors. Uh, Roller door, roller door bike, roller door car. So in the garage, I've got two doors. One's for the car, and I've got a motorbike in there as well. So it just makes it easy to uh, know which is which. Now, if we go to lounge room, where a lot of the other gear is, obviously you've got watch, which is another part. So we go in there. And then you can watch all those different things Apple TV, Beyond Wiz, which is my PVR, uh, Blu ray player, Xbox, um, digital, just straight out digital TV. And you can also go into uh, the receiver as well. Look, the Control 4 system, you can really set it to do whatever you like. So, this is a keypad in just off the kitchen here. So the top one, if you can see, says kitchen, dining and lamp. So I've just hit that button. Basically, voila, we've got lights in the kitchen. So they're all uh, den lights. And we can go off. Now if you notice that little light on the side also lets you know that uh, if it's on or off. So you can have, uh, say for instance, you wanted the garage light on this pad for some reason, you could have that on there. Now if you weren't, uh, if you're out here, you wouldn't know if the light was on or off, but um, once you hit that button, it actually changes color and tells you, well, I'm on. Now these pads, uh, you can get uh, many different configurations. So this one here is just a three button. Um, and you can go up to six, I think. Okay, here I've got uh, six on this one. So basically this one is just off the lounge room. 
So that drawing is uh, basically just a couple of lights in this little area here off the lounge. The lounge is the main lounge lights. Uh, dining is the uh, lamp in the dining room. Um, TV, basically that turns the TV on um, and sets it to the correct um, inputs for the um, amplifier and all that sort of jazz. TV off, same sort of thing, just turns it all off. Now that good night button is basically just turns everything off, uh, turns on the lamp in the uh, dining room there and turns on the bedroom lamps. So those lights are all from, um, most of those are all, all on the LifeX globes, which I find quite good. Um, the other lights, like all the down lights, they're all just bulk standard down lights, um, LED, but you can add, um, add sort of anything to these the control four system with the keypads um, so the keypad just replaces your normal um, room light switch thanks for watching guys uh, that was just a basically a brief overview of uh, my control four system at home but um, you know it's it's such a, a massive system which can do so many things so and there doesn't seem to be a great deal of uh, stuff out there. Uh, when I was looking at buying, buying it, you know, I, I always like to do my research. Um, and, you know, everything was really by dealers and stuff like that. So they're just trying to sell the product. Um, and that's really it. So, so I thought I'd do this video. Um, I hope you found it helpful. Um, happy to um, answer any questions you might have or if you want to uh, want any more videos on any other aspects uh, let me know and I can uh, look at doing that for you as well so on my channel I've got a um, couple of different interests one is home, home automation and the other thing is uh, motorcycles and cars so check out my channel and have a look around until next time thanks for watching bye bye